The next question from WhatsApp. My name is Hafia Fatima. I am from Andhra Pradesh, India. Why do the wishes of non-believers come true? And do the good deeds and do the good deeds done by non-believers get counted in front of Allah? The true question, why are the wishes of non-believers, why does Allah fulfill the wishes, why does it come true? And are the good deeds of the non-believers, are they accounted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do they get a reward for that? As far as the first question is concerned, that why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill the wishes of the non-believers? Now if you understand that as for the non-believers, those who are unbelievers, they don't have iman. They don't have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have faith in other things. They go after the desire. And the non-believers, they do not believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, is the cherisher, is the sustainer, is the giver. So, if they ask for somebody who is a false god, or if they desire something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfills their wishes. As Allah says in the Quran, sorry, Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 14, 15, that so that he gives them rope to hang themselves, you know, so that they go to and fro. So many a time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfills the dua and the wishes of the unbelievers to tell them I fulfill your wishes, but that will not solve your problem. Like a non-Muslim wants to be rich, Allah gives them rich, riches, but the wealth will not take them to Jannah. So many a times Allah fulfills the wishes of the non-believer so that they themselves, they think that will save them but it will not save them, it will take them more towards the hellfire. Coming to your second question, that are the good deeds of the unbelievers rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah says in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 72, In no shrik billah, and anyone who associates partners with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah will make jannat haram for him. وَمَا وَهُ النَّارِ وَلَا مِنْ ظَالِمِينَ مِنْ الْسَارِ And fire shall be dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. So here Allah is saying in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 72, that when people say that Isa alayhi salam is God, he replies that, إِنَّهُ مَيْشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Anyone who associates partners with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah will make Jannat haram for him. وَمَا وَهُنْ نَارْ وَلَا مِذْوَلْمِ الْمِنَنْ ثَارْ And fire shall be dwelling place and he shall have no help us in the hereafter. So here Allah is saying, is being very clear cut, that as for the unbelievers, anyone who associates partners with Allah, Allah will make Jannat haram for him. In the hereafter, Jannah will be haram for him. وَمَا وَهُنْ نَارْ And fire shall be dwelling place. And he shall have no help with the hereafter. Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 85 that anyone who desires a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him. And in the hereafter he will be amongst the losers. So here Allah is saying that the good deeds that you do in this world will not benefit you in the Akhirah. In Surah Imran chapter 5 verse number 72, he will, go, he will not enter Jannah and fire shall be turning place. In Surah Nisa chapter, in Surah Al Imran chapter 3 verse, verse 85, Allah says, anyone desires the religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted of him. It will not be accepted of him. And he will be amongst the losers in the hereafter. That means whatever good deed the non-Muslim does, in the hereafter it will be of no benefit. It will be useless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 23, that as to the deeds of the non-Muslims, Allah will make it like floating dust and scatter them over. Allah says, as for the deeds of the non-Muslim, Allah will make it like floating dust scattered all over. Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, Verse number 147, that the deeds of the unbelievers in this world would be in vain. 
But there's a hadith in Sahih Muslim where the Prophet said that if a non-Muslim does deeds, good deeds, Allah will reward him in this world. So that in the hereafter, he will not have any good deed left with him. So for a non-Muslim, if he does good deeds, it will never help him in the hereafter. It will be nothing but loss. He cannot go to Jannah. But Allah will, may reward him in this world. And the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad that he said that for the Muslim, this dunya is like prison. And akhirah is like Jannah. For the non-Muslim, this dunya is like Jannah. And the akhirah is like a prison. So once a Jew, he meets Hassan al-Basri, may Allah have mercy on him. Or I think it's Ibn Hajar, one of the two. May Allah have mercy on him. And the Jew who is a poor Jew, he goes and approaches him and says that you are rich, you are wearing such good clothes, I am poor, I am in tattered, I am wearing ragged, stitched clothes. And your prophet said, for the unbelievers this dunya is like paradise and the akhira is like jail. And for the believers this dunya is like jail and the akhira is like jannah. You are living in jannah now with such good clothes, such good luxury, I am living in prison. So the reply given was that for the believer, whatever good he has here, in Jannah, what he'll get is a million times better. You cannot compare the goodness of this world with the goodness of Jannah. The goodness of Jannah is uncomparable. No human being can think of it. No human being can do whatever you desire it will be better. So the Jannah is so good that in this world, even if you're the richest man, Yet compared to Jannah, this world will be like a prison for the believers. Because the believers, inshallah, the Muslims will go to Jannah. So in this world, whatever good deeds you have or you don't have, compared to the Akhirah, it is nothing. It's incomparable. That's why this world for the believer is like a prison. For the Akhirah, it's Jannah. But for the unbelievers, if you know what you'll get in the Akhirah, it's nothing but hellfire. And the amount of turmoil that is there in the Akhirah for the unbelievers, Jahannam is unbearable. If you visit Jahannam, you realize that this dunya was paradise for you. Even living in ragged clothes, in patched up clothes, is million times better than burning in hell. So this is the explanation of the Hadith. So the good deed done by the believers will not benefit them in the Akhirah. Allah will make the deeds in vain in the Akhirah. In this world it will be like scattered dust. And in this world Allah will reward them for the good deeds they have done. Hope that answers the question.